Meanwhile, here in New York, Governor Hochul announcing steps to protect students on college campuses and in their communities following a disturbing surge in hate and bias crimes. She spoke about the initiatives just an hour ago. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer is in the newsroom with the details on this. Marsha. After both a trip to Israel where she saw firsthand atrocities committed by Hamas and a visit to Cornell to discuss a series of violent anti-Semitic messages on college campus ministers boards, Governor Hochul is not only decrying hate speech, but she's doing something about it. We cannot allow any New Yorker to live in fear. For the day we are willing to accept that is the day that our moral compass has broken and spun out of control. Kathy Hochul speaking from the heart and moving expeditiously to identify and deal with threats of violence on college campuses after the Hamas attack on Israel. Let me be clear. We cannot allow hate and intimidation to become normalized. The governor was clearly motivated by two recent experiences. Visiting a kibbutz near the Gaza border where 70 people were murdered and meeting with Cornell students as the FBI investigated threats, including one that said, quote, if you see a Jewish person on campus, follow them home and slit their throats. She announced a number of steps to protect people, including expanding the work of the state police social media analysis unit to increase monitoring for school and campus threats of violence, $75 million in grants for law enforcement agencies to crack down on hate crimes, and $3 million to expand the red flag law to help cops in responding to hate crimes or bias-motivated threats. She also announced the appointment of former Court of Appeals Chief Judge Jonathan Lippman to review anti-Semitism and anti-discrimination policies on city university campuses. While his assessment will be focused on CUNY, his recommendations will be a roadmap for institutions across the state and the country. I've spoken to the SUNY and CUNY chancellors and representatives of private universities to share our concerns about the consequences of free speech crossing the line into hate speech by both students and professors. We will take on the anti-Semitism we have seen on college campuses. Now, the governor's move comes as the Anti-Defamation League reported a nearly 400 percent increase in anti-Semitic incidents since the hostilities in the Middle East started three weeks ago. The Council on American-Islamic Relations is also reporting a similar increase in bias incidents against Muslims. In the newsroom, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.